Imagine you work in an office environment such as this one. You are here and you'd very much like to get chatting to the middle-aged receptionist here. She's no spring chicken, but she has pointy tits, like in those 1950s movies, and you've often fantasised about what you would do with her if you could take her home with you. However, standing in your way, or should I say sitting, is your boss, here. He is a complete cock knocker and complicating the problem is that your cubicle is next to a co-worker who seems to have appointed himself as some kind of unofficial deputy. So what strategy should you employ to make your move effectively? You're thinking, I'm MGTOW, why should I care? But one solution is this. You make sure that Dick Breath overhears a phone conversation you're having. Yeah, my clubs are in the car. I'll see you on the course in 15 minutes. He looks over to find a mannequin in your chair and a golf course on Google Maps. Immediately, Batman is notified about the great escape, much to his dissatisfaction, and the pair leave the building in order to administer some rough justice. In your cubicle, the mannequin comes to life, and because nobody would ever guess that you would disguise yourself as yourself. In the excellent book Defensive Dating for Men by Yar Narator, the author examines the elaborate male-female interactions of the dating game and all its possible consequences. The early moments of potential relationships are a challenge, even if neither of you intend it to be that way. On a previous date, the waiter brought me my salad, and in the middle they put a baby octopus. I could have died. Try to use it? No! I'm an animal rights activist! You haven't been listening to what I've been saying! I'm very sorry. I didn't mean to be insensitive. Very often, a man can find himself not only being unaware of the rules of a game, but not even knowing that he was in a game in the first place, and still unaware that the dice were loaded in her favour. Guys like myself have played by the rules in order to get that ace card in your hand, only to find that your wife is playing a different kind of game altogether. How many men have discovered that the one they love was thinking several steps ahead in order to get you out of the home you shared together and have it for herself. The winner takes it all. Open the pod bay doors, Sal. Dave, this marriage can serve no purpose anymore. Goodbye. A woman's tactics can frequently be part of a larger game plan or scheme. And speaking of games, I sometimes wonder if the video games we played as kids had any kind of message for us. Certainly they had the potential to warn us unenlightened teenagers as we hammered away at that hard thing on our laps, offering us a simplified version of what we might face as adults. If I was to make a game, I would ensure it had some kind of MGTOW content. In a world of too many blue pills and not enough red, it's essential to know that in a game there can only be one winner and the other person is known as an opponent or rival for a reason. For men, marriage is like a game of snakes and ladders, but with no ladders. We are kicking the ball uphill and the sun is in our eyes. So it makes sense to play like a pro and to maximise your use of the pieces you've been given, knowing it's best to go it alone. <laughs>